the highly anticipated yet reasonably unsettling Wigfred rework is here, everyone. And if the animation is anything to go by, it should be a good one. The curtain calls in more ways than one for our wannabe Valkyrie in this newest short, and with all the lore just simply pouring out from it, it is one of Clay's best yet. So, be sure to give it a watch yourself, as we have a different song to sing today. And our Viking vocalist is going to be center stage the whole way. And as always, expect a new main menu look and sound to go along with the update, which is always lovely. But don't forget about the new shinies in the store either. Don't fret, we'll be covering these in another video soon enough. So for now, let's put you Wigfrid mains at ease. Cause yes, Wigfrid is still very much Wigfrid everyone. She still deals 25% more damage than most others and heals from combat. She still can only munch down meat with a couple exceptions of course. And her voice is still as beautifully ear numbing as it's always been. So then, the heck did Clay even change? Well, nothing. Apart from this, Wigfred's new inspiration meter and mechanic. Fighting or simply hitting anything raises it, while being outside of combat will lower it rather quickly. By two points every one second to be exact. And it appears as if being outside of combat for roughly six seconds is what actually causes the meter to begin to drop. So, there you go. Looks like to take advantage of anything in this rework, we gotta fight, fight, fight. So, let's do it. And most small to medium mobs look to give about one inspiration per hit, which is honestly really low, all things considered, but we'll get to that. While big bats here, like deer clops, offer us four points of inspiration per bonking, I can confirm that even ranged attacks with things like a boomerang do actually raise inspiration, as well as inspiration itself, only capping at 99, not a full 100. But what does inspiration actually mean for us? Well, nothing, actually. Nothing without Wigfred's newest stagecraft crafting tab, that is. Seven new songs are waiting to be belted out to aid ourselves and our friends in combat. And this is what the Wigfred WeWork encompasses, everybody, and what is truly new with Wigfred overall. I will do my best to relay as much information that I can from what I've gathered, so please forgive any discrepancies. It's all new to everyone, mind you. So, let us begin with the weaponized warble, everyone. One of the more straightforward songs in terms of effect and craft at the end of the day. Using a papyrus, a feather pencil, and a sewing kit, Wigfrid can now apply a bonus to both others and her weapons that will reduce the cost of each use by 25% for as long as the song is active, of course. Now, about that, the inspiration meter allows for a song to be sung around 18, 50, and 80 inspiration. And these little spikes indicate when a buff can be applied or if one is already applied, as you can see. And yes, depending on the level of inspiration, Wigfrid can indeed have three separate buffs applied to her and her companions at once, as long as the inspiration is kept high enough. But make note, different buffs, you can't have more of the same. But also before we fire through the other songs, Wigfrid has a funny looking animation when attempting to sing without inspiration and it's kinda weird looking, so there's that too I guess. But let us keep on singing, shall we? The heart-rending ballad is next, only this time it will cost you a life-giving amulet to make. So do so, raise your inspiration, blurt out the ballad, and enjoy an additional 0.5 health drain upon hits for Wigford herself, along with any nearby ally gaining the ability to drain one health per second themselves. Very cool. And yes, her buffs generally work better for others over herself, so be mindful of that. Plus, at this point in time, it looks like it actually applies to followers like Pigmen, Bunnymen, and all that. Which is kind of funny and kind of neat. And yep, 
Could have saw this one coming. Wigfred has always regenerated more than just health via combat, and the clear-minded Cadenza looks to help that too. Take a trip to the Lunar Island for a Moon Moth, and you can have a Song Slash buff that grants an additional one sanity gain per hit to Wigfred, while allowing others to also gain sanity from combat at the same time. At least as far as I can tell. Not bad. And again, to be expected, I feel. However, Clay did actually go a bit beyond just simple regen buffs. How about ones that could keep us in the fight a little longer? Or even just help cancel out some bad negative effects? The Bel Canto of Courage certainly falls under those questions. And while yes, it is quite expensive and requiring a Thul Sight medallion of all things, you should note that all of these songs shown here today are of infinite use. But now in short, the bel canto of courage will make it so both you and others around you will see all negative sanity auras halved in effectiveness. Perfect for tanking clops without going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in mere seconds. I can totally get behind this one. I like it and like it a lot, especially because it fits Wigfrid's style of tanking for Pete's sake. Enjoy. Though the same cannot be said of this next one, however. The Fireproof Falsetto. Not only will it have you going out and sailing to find seaweeds to even make it, all it does is reduce fire damage by 33% for as long as the song is active. I guess it's for those out there who just straight up tank Dragonfly, even through her enraged form, and I guess I can understand that, but it's still an outlier in my opinion. I've heard though that it applies to overheating, so there's that too. But now we're back to some of the fancy ones, folks, and a funny one to boot, the Rude Interlude. This here is the typical aggro drawing ability of a tank character. And funnily enough, it costs a tomato to go piss things off. But here's the thing though, everyone. These final two songs may also be of infinite use, but each will actually instantly drop inspiration instead of remaining active like all the other buffs. And the rude interlude here costs 17 inspiration per use. So you gotta be very mindful of when you use these things. And finally, the startling soliloquy. This song will be costing you one papyrus, one feather pencil, one purple gem, and yet another 18 inspiration to use. But singing the song makes all nearby mobs that are able to panic, uh, actually panic for a short period of time giving you and your friends time to gather yourselves for any more fighting or healing that you may have to use. Not too shabby, especially when the hounds are coming at you. Just probably not needed all that much at the end of the day. But before we ramp, allow me to reiterate once again that yes, three buffs are indeed possible for everyone as long as the Wigfrid maintains high inspiration. That said, ask yourself this. Are you not all just gonna slaughter most every boss in the game long before that potential even comes into play with said Wigfrid? Plus, apart from the lifesteal and sanity buffs, do any of the others even matter? I really don't know, folks. A simple damage buff at the least would have enticed me enough, but I truly can't get behind the majority of this rework. And to be completely openly honest, everybody, that is how I feel about all of these new songs overall, and thus the entire Wigfrid rework here. I am still very, very happy to report that again, Wigfrid is still Wigfrid. I knew though that they were going to play it safe, but as an official first take here, they may have played it a bit too safe. I'm not really encouraged to use these buffs for myself, let alone my allies, and I could just play normally all the same and not even bother to acknowledge these changes in the slightest. That's not really a good direction in my opinion. But again, it is just my opinion. So thanks for watching, folks. I hope you do enjoy the changes, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.